Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we ask one question here, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? A lot of people, young, old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And case in point, we're going back to the 80s. We've been doing a 64-song tournament like the NCAA. And another shout-out to Taste Like Music. Uh, I pretty much stole the idea from them and renamed it. So anyway, um, yeah, great channel. If you haven't uh, seen it, check it out. Tastes Like Music. Uh, love it. Anyway, um, we're taking some pot shots at the uh, 80s pop charts to show some balance. There was good and bad music in the 20th century. There's good and bad music today. And I suppose there was good and bad music in the 19th century, too, before recording. And that's it. So, number one, this is just for fun. So, enjoy. Uh, if you like these songs, that's fine. And number two... Uh, it's just my opinion. Now, normally, uh, and by the way, if you like what I'm doing, hit that like or subscribe button. It, it, it really does help. But So normally what I do is I play the four songs, because we're going to do four songs today, and pit them in pairs and work them down uh, to, um, we're in the Sweet 16 right now. But I got to tell you, I've been transparent with you guys. We've done two rounds, so this is round three. I've got these songs seared in my brain. And when I'm not 100% sure, I play the videos and I evaluate. But for this video, I hope you will indulge me. Uh, I already know which ones I'm going to pick. It's no contest. Uh, yeah, these four songs have made it through round one, round two, round three. If you want to listen to the songs, uh, go back to uh, round two, and and uh, maybe I'll put some links below so you can um, watch those. But if I sit here and I play these songs, it's just going to be for show, and I don't want to do that to you guys. So the first pairing we've got here is a Battle of the Richards. Yeah. Yeah. Richard Simmons, This Time, which is a self-affirmation song with strings and piano that reminds me of a not-funny version of Stuart Smalley from Saturday Night Live. And that's being pitted up against Richard Marks, the uh, handsome 80s artist who wrote this song for his wife called Still Waiting uh, Still Waiting Here, I think it's called. And it's kind of sappy, but it's got a decent melody and some piano. And yeah, it's overwrought, and I'm not a big fan of it. It's kind of like a song if if you said, Hey, AI, write me a love song for FM radio or AM radio. That That would be it. So I'm putting up here uh, images of the 45 RPM records that they were released on. That Richard Simmons is so bad. It's so bad. Um, I use the 10 song rule. I pretend I'm going to play the song 10 times in a row. I would get really tired of the Richard Marks, but man, the Richard Simmons, I'd be like, ugh, somebody take me out now. <laughs> it's really, really bad. So again, thank you for indulging me. Uh, I'm just going to talk about the songs. The second pairing is Black Lace Agadu, which is a uh, island song, a uh, kind of novelty song about pineapples and that kind of thing. And it's got some uh, steel drums or fake steel drums in it. And I don't mind it. It's it's mildly annoying. And by the way, uh, in this picture, one of the people is Colin Gibb. Rest in peace. Colin Gibb died last week. Yeah. Died right in the middle of this tournament. Really sad. Uh, yeah. But anyway... 
Yeah, it's an okay uh, song, and we're pitting that against uh, George Benson. Now, I always have a hard time remembering this title. Um, I'll still be loved. I'm sorry. I, I, you know, I just read it a few minutes ago again, and. I always forget I'm never going to stop loving you or something like that has that really horrible uh, synth programming kind of chimey that uh, that I really dislike. And the lyrics are very ordinary. Not a very interesting song, really well sung. George Benson is a great singer. And I like him as a human being. I watched an interview with him recently on Rick Beato's channel. And I like George Benson. And I have some of his uh, instrumental music from the 60s when he was a jazz guitarist in the West Montgomery mold. And I like him. But I'm going to advance George Benson. I just think it's a really wimpy song. Agadoo, it's a novelty song. Like I say, mildly annoying, but I can stand it. And so that's it. Uh, again, I just didn't want to be a poser here and and go, hmm, hmm, which song am I? You know, I I was getting ready to record and I go, yeah, I know. I just know which of these two songs to advance. So that's it. Maybe not as interesting as watching the videos. But I want to be up front. And honest with you guys and transparent and i don't want to act you know there's a i'm not going to name the channel but there was a reaction channel i followed for about a year and finally i just came to the conclusion that the guy was um not really authentic you know he plays a little dumber than he is he's actually pretty bright but he acts like he doesn't know that much about the music and yeah i bailed from the channel i i just i can kind of tell when somebody's a faker so thank you um and that's it uh as we say here in bonita mexico buen dia